Hey guys, Jonathan here with Florida Turf Pros. You know, whenever you're starting your lawn care business, uh, there's a lot of great information floating around YouTube about all the things that you should be doing. But in this video, I want to discuss five things that you absolutely need to avoid if you want your lawn care business to be successful. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. But at the end of the video, I'm actually going to give you the thing that I think is the most important. So again, five things you need to avoid. And then if I have one tip for a beginner, I'm gonna give that to you at the end of this video. Y'all stay tuned. The first way that you're going to get in trouble into your lawn care business is debt. Too much debt is a killer, okay? Especially in the beginning. Now look, if you go out and buy a new truck, a new trailer, and then all this lawn care equipment and stick equipment, backpack blowers, before you know it, you can have fifty dollars and $60,000 worth of debt in your business, and it is an absolute killer in the beginning, especially whenever you do not have any clients, and then you're gonna have the winter coming up, your first year, and you have not been able to accrue a lot of money. Too much debt is an absolute killer. You'd be better off taking that money, investing it into marketing, and then starting slow and building your equipment as you go. Number one killer, too much debt. Okay, the second way that you're going to get in trouble is by not knowing how to price correctly, okay? You know, whenever you get going, it is a little bit challenging, but at the end of the video, I'm also going to give you a, a link to a, to a video that I've done on how to price mowing services. It's a very, very detailed video. Can't have your prices too low. It is better to price too high and miss out on work than it is to do work and lose money on it, okay? Number two reason that you're gonna get in trouble in your lawn business is not understanding how to price. Okay, the third way that you're going to get in trouble in your lawn business is not staying focused, okay? I understand in the beginning that it's very uh, tempting to want to say yes to everything because you're doing everything that you can to survive, but you're going to get in trouble whenever you start taking on jobs that you don't understand or, or whenever they're out of your area of expertise. It is a great strategy to figure out those things that you are going to do best and then just do them better than anybody else in your market. Now, of course, down the line, we all want to add more services, but in the beginning, just take it from me and from experience, if you do too many things and offer too many services to your client, you're going to stretch yourself thin and you're not going to be very good at all of them. Okay, the fourth way that you're going to get in trouble with your lawn care business is if you start taking work all across town, okay? I preach route density in my videos and I have in the past and it is so important, guys. The name of the game in residential lawn care is route density. Stacking houses on top of houses in neighborhoods, that is where the profit is, okay? If you're driving all across town, you're wasting your day, and just stacking houses on top of each other, it has such a dramatic impact in so many areas of your business, just to the profitability and the overall volume that you can actually do in the day of gross revenue if you are not driving far. If you go into a neighborhood and are able to bang out 15, 20 lawns in that neighborhood, that is where the money is. I see guys take on work all over town, and I do. I understand in the beginning that you kind of have to do that, but I promise the quicker that you can start cooling that down and focus on an area of your town and start building density in, that is where the money is. The fifth way that you can get in trouble with your lawn care business is not getting paid for the work that you have done. The technical term is cash flow, but really what it boils down to is you want the money that you are owed to come into your business as quickly as possible. You don't need to be doing work for 30 days, then sending an invoice at the end of the month, then waiting another 15 or 30 days to get paid. Guys, there is a better way to do it, and it's called credit cards on file. And yes, I will do a video on how we get credit cards on file for all of our clients and how I bill them every single week, and our cash flow is always steady. Okay, guys, so to recap, the number one way that you're going to get in trouble is too much debt. The second way that you're going to get in trouble is not understanding your pricing. The third way that you're going to get in trouble is by saying yes to everything. The fourth way that you're going to get in trouble is by driving all over town for your lawns and not focusing on route density. And the fifth way that you're going to get in trouble is by not having a good invoice process that has cash constantly coming into your business. Okay guys, I told you at the end of the video that I would give you the one piece of advice that I think is the absolute most important for a newcomer to the industry. There's so many different ways that I could go with this, but really it just all boils down to this simple fact. People want to do business with you, the person. You are the face of your company. Nobody cares about your company in the beginning. 
They don't care about your company colors. They don't care about your company logo. They don't care if you have good equipment. The only thing they care about is you. They want to know that you, the person, are dependable. They don't know anything about your company and they don't care. In the beginning, you know, I thought that people cared about, you know, the company uh, image that we had and everything, but really, that doesn't come till later, guys. In the beginning, for a newcomer, the most important thing is to be dependable, be trustworthy, be somebody that your client can count on. Thanks for watching, guys. Here's the video I promised you on how to price your mowing service.